What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code Bugs for five percent off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today uh, we're gonna go over the market as usual. Um, little market overview action today. We're gonna go over pricing and all that good stuff. Some tips, pretty much everything. I'm just going to talk about a couple things with the also we're going to also talk about some things with the community um, So yeah, make sure to 20,000 MC in the comments Like the vid sub if you are new for a chance at winning 20,000 MC and um, Yeah, so there is a lot to talk about a lot a lot. So first off, I want to go on and say I'm still sponsoring my coin sponsors cuz I don't care um, I'm getting a decent amount of money from this sponsor not only that, um, you guys aren't going to get banned for buying coins. It's only the people who promote, and that is exactly why I have the Yo Boy Bugs up there. So, also, 2K, I think, only ban people that one day. Like, 2K is so lazy. You really think they have the time to go ban people? That's number two. Uh, number three, you know what? I don't care. If I get banned, I have my other account. I've transferred half my MT to another account. So, if they really want to be like that, I don't care. I will loophole it. They can't see anything. So... If you want to buy MT, check them out. I don't like, I don't know, man. You're not going to get banned. Everyone who's gotten banned were the YouTubers. No, none of like, you really think they care if little guys bought MT? No. But anyways, people are also saying that um, Larry Bird is cheap because people aren't buying MT. If that made sense, I would say, I would agree, but it makes no sense. So um, if he, he's probably around like 190, I'm buying this card ASAP. I'm still trying to make some MT. I need more MT. Um, yeah, but yeah. So check out my sponsor. Use bugs for 5% off. But other than that, right now, Larry Bird's going for the low. I would never buy this J.R. Smith for this price. I mean, honestly, he's probably going to be this price for the rest of the year. So I'm not sure. Um, card's really good, I have to say. Haven't played with it, but 300 something K is kind of crazy. If you do really want to buy this card, I don't know. I don't know when he's going to go down. He's probably not going to go down, but if you think about it, with his height and his defense, his, he's a top card in the game at point guard. So you could buy him. I'm not totally sure. Um, it's up to you. I personally am not going to buy it. If I were to buy a card, I would buy Bird, yo. He is filthy. And he's got an 85 speed. Bird is always slow as hell. They gave him an 85 speed. That's so doable. Not only that, he could shoot from anywhere. He has Hall of Fame like every shooting badge. Um, he looks pretty not rare at all. So if you don't want to pick him up, honestly, right now is not a bad time. I want to go over Hakeem Olajuwon because Hakeem is that expensive. Um, kind of annoying how expensive he is. I want to go over Worthy. Worthy was like 85k. I'm pretty much just going over what happened after the market crash. So looks like Worthy has went up back to his 100k. Ooh, 91k. I wanted James Worthy because of those clamps. He's got 90k went up there, so he really went up just a little bit. Everything it did go up a little bit ever since Friday. Honestly, market crashed a little bit. Nothing too crazy. People kind of prepared quickly for it that's one problem so i'm not totally sure let's see let's go over the dime filter see what went up went down yeah so if i see um as you can see it's really not that much action if at all pretty much the same cards up here nothing too crazy it, it's so annoying how the market dies so fast right now what i recommend selling cards to be honest i kind of do recommend selling cards right now not gonna lie definitely not a bad time to sell at all try to take these tips make sure to sell try the silver filter out there's really nothing i'm gonna say that anything really stands out we're gonna have moments of the week predictions later make sure to check that out but right now what would i do um honestly i feel like will bird go up i heard a couple questions will larry bird go up in price so now this is what i'm thinking larry bird is Larry Bird is one of the best cards in a game, okay? With that being said, he is somewhat very not rare. So I'm trying to think, who is the pink diamond in the other flash set? 
I'm trying to think. I'm trying to give a good comparison. So we got the Flash one, wherever that is. All right, Flash. So, okay, the Pink Diamond was Bosch. He's actually extremely expensive. But I feel like more kids are pulling packs. So I don't know. I feel like Larry Bird could go up to 200 plus. Will I buy him now? Honestly, with this much on the auction, it's probably a good time to buy him. As the week goes on and packs are gone, you're probably not going to see him on the on it at all. So I'm not totally sure, but I would. I, I could see Bird going up to 220, 200. Granger, honestly, he's terrible. I'm not even going to lie. I think this card sucks. I versed him online. He's terrible. Josh Smith's terrible. I don't know. Be honest, Bird and J.R. Smith, man. That's every card. If you're not looking at Bird or J.R. Smith, I don't know, man. I think every single other card in the set's kind of garbage. Jimmy Fredette, his jumpers, he's good when he's doing an 89 overall ruby. He's trash. Um, I don't know. Honestly, if you do want to stack up on Jermaine O'Neal's or Jimmy Fredette's, not a bad idea. Even Josh Smith's for the low price of like 30 something K. Try to step out some Josh Smith for around 30k. Stay on the uh, the the Flash 2 snipe filter. Not a bad snipe filter. Switch back for two back between one and two. But I don't know. Um, Danny Granger, his jump shots whack. If you do want to pick him up, I mean it's up to you. You could possibly stack him on Granger's. Personally, I'm not really a fan of Flash 2. I'm not gonna lie, I think they're really bad. Bird and Smith. Everything else is kind of doo-doo. Um, so, honestly, one thing I would try to do, if you really want Larry Bird, I would go Celtics, Pink Diamond, and keep refreshing. That's my methods. To so you, if you do get one, you dub out. Rondo also went up so much. I got him for 55 k when the market crashed. He's at 78 so... You guys could dub out as well. Now, I want a Larry Bird so bad. I might just sit here all day. Um, Rondo is in the way, but you could also snipe out a Rondo at 3 hours and 55. Not only that, if you do use this, you're going to see Larry Bird right here. We need to get this damn Larry Bird so bad. I need Larry Bird. I want to make it splash. If you didn't check out any of those gameplays, bro, go check out some people's gameplays with Larry Bird. It's kind of crazy how good he is. He dunks. He has really cheesy hop step. He's money in the post. There's so much stuff going on with the man. But yeah. Um, right now, what I recommend exactly selling for the market crash. So after the market crash right now, uh, I've pretty much sold most of my players. I made MTO every single one. Right now. Try to sell. <sighs> I'm trying to think. Try to sell some diamonds. Try to sell pretty much, bro. Anything you got. Today's gonna be the best day to sell. We got the moments of the week. Uh, what is it? 11 coming out tomorrow. So, moments of the week 11 tomorrow. Now, what's gonna happen is market will crash a little bit. It'll take a little dip. The silvers are gonna take a little dip. Everything's gonna take a little dip. And I kind of recommend you guys to make sure you do pay attention to that. Um, I don't know what uh, I'm trying to think. Usually when the moments of the week 10 come out, Amethyst 20, moments of the week make Amethyst 20s drop a ton. So try that out. That's another method, you guys. Try out this filter right here, 99 to 100K. Anything post, any buyouts for 100K, it's yours, bro. So honestly, that's really all I got, though. Make sure you do like the vid for the 20,000 MT. I'm trying to think. What? It's really... I don't know, man. Right now, there's really nothing to do in the game. If you do want to do something, you could grind out the spotlights. It doesn't look like Hakeem's going to go down at all. So, honestly, try out that. Try out grinding the spotlights. That's really all I could honestly say. Other than that, there's really nothing else. Like, grind the spotlights. Try to grind the auction. There's really nothing to grind on the auction. That's the problem. But, um, yeah, make sure you take my methods. Put them in the back of your head. Try out the silver filter. Try out all that good stuff. But, yeah, that's really it, guys. I honestly hope you did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more. Now, will I see a market crash tomorrow? It's possible. It's very possible. I'm not sure how what kind of moments they're dropping. If they drop a pink diamond, hopefully, but probably won't. If they drop tokens, else. But yeah, that's really all I got, guys. Hope you did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. We got moments to be predictions later today. And uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got. Peace.